at her mar of venues. On the first page, at the bottom, she makes a note that uh, this special event will occur except for the Thunderbird Street closings. We need to add to that the Sonoran Art League Street closings. And I recommend the council adopt the, uh, that change. Discussion about the posting of signs, I believe, at arterial streets at four or five different places. We have not permitted that in the past for special events for one business, and I would recommend the council remove the words, allow the posting of event at corners of Ho Home, East Carefree Drive, East Ho Road, between 6 and 10 a.m. Do you have a slip from the public to speak on agenda item 7? John Savella, I am a uh, Carefree residence. I own Sundial Garden Cafe at the number 7 Sundial Circle. Number seven item, I am uh, very much in favor of you guys approving the permit, but I am against closer closure of the streets. It just doesn't make sense, and as most people know, uh, as much access to your business you have, it's better. And for 20, 30, how many cars you have, it doesn't make sense. I'm in favor of giving the permit, as a resident and business owner, but I just don't see closure of the street being appropriate. The reason we close the street is for public safety. In the past, we've had participants in the event parking what would be considered illegally parallel to the curb of the gardens. The only way they can do that is if we close the street, so it's safe for them to park there. We also have people who come to that event walking about the cars to look at them. And we've had people just walking through the street, not paying at all traffic. So that's why we close the street for public safety. I understand your concern, but if they're to have the event, the only choice would be to either close the street as we do it now, so they can have the event as it currently exists, or they would have to park legally and people would not be allowed to walk about the street. And we found that in the past that doesn't work because people just walk out in the street and the parking unit is not going to be good. Al Swanson, 34 Easy Street and Carefree. Um, maybe you could give us some clarification on why we need the permit. We've been doing this starting our fourth year. Um, we stopped closing the street because we got so many complaints from our neighbors. Um, so we just put three cones out behind the car. Um, if we're not going to be able to get um, directional signs, like any other event, there's directional signs for Kiwanis, for Thunderbirds artists, for every other event that's held. Um, what's the purpose of our paying $200 a year for a permit? Um, we're not understanding the health and safety aspect of it because, frankly, no one's been close to being injured. Um, like Jan said, it's an inconvenience for him, and we taken and pushed it open. We've had complaints from uh, um, about parks. We've had complaints from uh, uh, bags and rags. Uh, people don't want the street closed. We don't ever want the street closed. Um, uh, it, it doesn't make any sense for businesses when it's their only place to uh, have it. And it's not one side through the other. The uh, Sheriff's Department came by and turned down their sirens and their lights to harass our customers because they were parked in the yellow zone. Gary put up, or the town put up, um, no parking signs just specifically for these customers. You know, from, from you know, we want to cooperate with the town. We, we've created more activity, I think, in the town than most businesses. Uh, we serve about 46,000 people a year. Mayor, members of the council, uh, historically, as you know, we get comments from residents, other businesses, and one of the things that we were seeing as this event associated with venues matured is there were more cars, and more cars meant more people are gathering around, and there's certain peaks with it. So they, they don't receive 50 cars every, every Saturday, um, but when they, they do have large events, there were a number of people congregating in the street, not looking at oncoming traffic, uh, people taking pictures of cars. And we received a number of complaints from residents of Carefree about this event and the safety of people standing in the middle of the street not watching the oncoming traffic and blocking the traffic. So 
we thought about it, and you know, this necessitated since they were using the public street for a special event. We typically don't have cars parked there and people congregating around. A, These uh, are our customers. These are not special events. It, it is a special event in that you're having these cars come up here so that you can showcase them. So I, I would respectfully disagree in that it's not your typical customers. The point of the event, and you advertise <coughs> it, is that this is a car show. Come up here and showcase your car. To my mind is that I've received complaints from citizens, not one, about the conduct of people who participate in this. Um, revving engines and doing burnouts. The burnouts, I think you've had. stop that. We've also received complaints from people who have tried to drive through the street when it was open and were harassed by the participants in the car show who told them, this is my street, get your expert to leave out. I've never heard of that kind of. I have, and I've heard it multiple times. The choice is very simple. We can either issue a permit and you can continue as you're doing now, parking the cars where they're not legal to park, or if we don't issue a permit, we left the MCSO to vigorously enforce both pedestrian rules and the parking rules in the town of Carefree. You're um, harassing us. Making sure our cars park legally is not harassment. Because of the parking in the fire lane, your people come into your car show with their hot rods, and I love cars just like anybody else. They kept parking in that fire lane. We can't allow that. Again, it's about safety, and it's about liability. And this is all we're trying to do here. I am Jeff Bergman. I own 22 Easy Street, and I also own the Wild Holly Gallery with my wife, Holly. My feeling on closing the streets for 20 to 25 weeks in a row is not fair, okay? It doesn't affect us from a business standpoint because we are closed at that time. But you have a business right down the road that relies on Saturday morning breakfast. And if that was me, I would be in arms about 20 weeks. You know, I can see if it's two, three weeks a year. And the same part, I also feel this isn't Scottsdale and it isn't Manhattan. And I've been to the car show and I don't think there's a need to close the streets. I think possibly having two security people working at Bowwood to hire to make sure that people weren't walking in the streets might solve the problem of the public safety. So I don't think the car show in itself is an issue except closing the streets for that long. I really do not believe it's fair to the other merchants, and especially the owner. I don't understand why we need to have a special permit. We are, we have named the town on our insurance policy as additional name insured, but this we shouldn't have to deal with this every year. And we don't want it. We well, that's part of the special you. event permit is, is you giving a certificate of insurance naming the town. Well, but it's not a special event. It's just for our customers. You know. That's part of the special event permit. Yeah, we, we, we wouldn't be doing our traditional responsibility if we didn't make sure the town was covered. We're in total agreement with Jeff. We're total agreement with Jan. We really don't want to close the streets. And we don't say to you for it. Would you agree with me that during your car show, people are wandering about the street observing the cars? I would say that people wander around the streets all the time, walking over to the botanical gardens back and forth. I didn't make myself understood. At your car show, are people taking pictures and basically going to a car show without observing appropriate pedestrian safety precautions in the middle of the street? Uh, you know, I, I, again, I don't think it's an issue. It's not material. So it's seven, the only the customers that are there between 7 and 10, as so Jeff pointed you out, is basically ours. tell the town that you want us to have an active street where people are wandering about distracted by the car show. Well, it, it, as, as Melissa pointed out, if we park the cars in the parking places on the other side, people are going to wander around anyway. We can't control other, other people's behavior. Would you be willing to hire a security guard to uh, ensure the safety of people who are in the street? No. If someone was injured, uh, Mike, what would be the liability to the town? The town would be named in the street along with others. Uh, Vice Mayor? Beyond or, or aside from liability, liability doesn't come up. Uh, it's the safety of people. And, and I think I'm prepared to agree with John that I, I see something, and the cars are, are beautiful vehicles. The people are looking at them and they may not have the same caution. I mean, and they're in the street and traffic is going by. I think safety is our first concern. Uh, as opposed to liability or, or literally anything else. And I regret that it may impact business, 
and I could see where it would. Hopefully the people would become accustomed that on Saturday mornings they come around to the Sundial Cafe from a different standpoint. But inconvenience versus safety, to me there's 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 no uh, comparison. The problem is they want to run a car down without closing the street and they want people wandering around an active roadway. The problem is potential health problems. We also have had some of their people cost some of the people driving through. If we approve this without asking them to close the street, we're basically saying we want them to run a car show on what is an active roadway. I was thinking that the way they were running it now was fairly well done. They parked cars parallel to the curb, and they put three cones out, which tends to warn people that the street is probably closed. Most people will go somewhere else. I thought it was working fine the way we had it in the practical sense. Put three cones out. You're saying it didn't work fine. We're dealing with three issues here plus an um, The first one is a permit. A permit is required for all of these kinds of things. Without it, uh, the town won't grant it and will call the police on any merchant. The second one is the cones on on the street, etc. And I think what I'm hearing is that perhaps, and let me ask Mr. Neese, is it possible that you can get a sign that goes up next to the cone, special event, road passable, some caution, something like that that we might put up? Absolutely. Yeah. Perhaps something like that, that, that we're trying to be accommodating. And the third one is signage coming in from the major arteries, and and those are heavily restricted, and we're not uh, doing anything against you or for you that we wouldn't do for any other merchant. So well, I would say let's break it into three items. I would like to pass this. Make a motion. I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve with the two exceptions noted by Mayor Schwann, the Sonoran Arts street closings are also added. The motion that we approve this special events permit with the exception the Sonoran Arts street closing is added. On the second page, allow the posting of events at corners of uh, Hum Road, East Carefree Drive, East Ho Road between 6 and 10 a.m. That, that that is not included in it that we approve it with those two exceptions. Um, that we investigate and to the extent that we can, we get some signs to accompany um, the cones that say, road open, proceed with caution, something that I've asked Mr. Neese to, to give notice that safety is, is an issue here. I'm trying to think of the other. So two signs. One at each end. One at each end. Appropriate signage. Appropriate signage. So we're not closing. But and the road won't be closed. We'll Thank you for not closing. It. Comment, one more. Thank you very much. That will solve my problem. <laughs> good. Street open. Proceed with caution. Thank you. That's a great idea. And good uh, thinking. It took too long, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> a motion and a second to adopt. A special event permit as amended. There were two amendments. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously.